To my opinion, the Astro Forum was uh, quite a success. Astro Forum is, uh, in contrast to the other Astro meetings, a place to meet for all those involved in radiation oncology. The biologists, the physicists, the radiation therapists, and of course uh, the medical doctors, the radiation oncologists. This gives a great opportunity to show to each other what we are doing to improve our way of mutual understanding and of collaboration. So many of the sessions were done together. For example, a session on breast cancer for radiation therapists, which are our uh, radiotherapy nurses in some countries. In other countries, it are well-trained uh, technicians. But the session was made by their own professional group and by doctors and by physicists and sometimes also by a radiobiologist. Another uh, of the important uh, factors of the Astro Forum is that we invite our colleagues from outside of Europe. So we had joint sessions with the Japanese colleagues on proton therapy and uh, heavy particle therapy. We had a joint ses session with the colleagues from uh, Astro, from America, on oligometastasis, which was, by the way, an important uh, uh, team at this meeting. We had a joint session with the Canadian friends and a joint ses session with the people from Australia and New Zealand. This time we didn't have uh, joint sessions with, for example, Alatro, because we cannot fill our entire Congress with joint activities. The theme of uh, oligometastasis was very high on this agenda. We had uh, three sessions dedicated to this. It's important to select uh, the patients who have only a little bit of metastatic disease, and there is a discussion about how ex extensive this can be. Uh, how to treat them? Some treat them just palliatively, but a part of those patients, when treated with radical uh, intent, uh, can survive for many years in a good quality of life. Uh, we have uh, seen many examples of trials run in this field. Many of the trials have some shortcomings. We miss uh, further uh, prospective randomized trials. We have seen a lot on the uh, possible complications of the treatment, but more on technical solutions, how to prevent the complications. So we had uh, very interesting uh, abstracts, very interesting presentations. One that I would like to highlight is an abstract that was presented on a prospective study comparing high-dose external beam radiotherapy with low-dose external beam radiotherapy followed by brachytherapy for prostate cancer. And the results were very interestingly showing that the um, survival without progression of disease is better with combination treatment, so better following brachytherapy. However, without a clear improvement up to now on overall survival and uh, with some more side effects. So it is, I think, still a little bit too early to advise this treatment to all our patients. However, probably we can select a subgroup in which it can be uh, very interesting. So we have two upcoming meetings, the numbered meetings, ESTRO 34 will be organized jointly with other cancer societies in the framework of the ECC meeting in Vienna, end of uh, September. And ESTRO 35, our own meeting, will be hosted by the city of Torino at the end of April next year, early May uh, 2016. The theme of the meeting in Torino is being discussed at this very moment, so this is not sure, but a numbered meeting is always to uh, have a close interaction with other oncological societies uh, with whom we collaborate. So we often set up joint activities with, for example, the European Society for Radiology, with the European Society for Nuclear Medicine, uh, often with the societies for breast cancer or for lung cancer or for gastroenterological cancer or other tumor-specific sites.